Hey everybody, it's time for the November 28th rocket launch. I am joined today with Casper, Max, Hello. and Ellie slash Ralph, where we are going to launch a whole bunch of rockets. Ready? Yeah. Some of these rockets are double, some of them are triple, so watch out for that. Okay, here we go. Go. Three, two, one. Bald eagle, and also rocket. We, we just made the bald eagle, bald eagle spook. So we got scared and it blew away. It was really funny. Did the rocket just hit something? The bald eagle no, just totally. Hit. Three, two, one. That was good. That's really nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's recovering very well. <laughs> Stay out of the sun. Oh, that's too light. Where's the dam? There should be a... I think that's tree, man. Oh, yeah, it's tree. Oh. Interesting. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this rocket, um, we've done the two windsock rockets, this is our third rocket, it's a D rocket meant to go about, um, about 792 feet, let's see what happens. Go ahead. Very nice. Ooh, whoops. Uh -oh. That did not deploy correctly. It's coming toward us. Field! Yay! All right, here we go. This is the oh, first the double reload. rocket. As you can see underneath here, we've got two engines that Casper is hooking up in parallel. This is the first double rocket we've... Second one we've tried. It's meant to go 740 feet with two rockets. B. All right. All right, guys. First double. Three, two, one. Come on, pop. Oh. Uh, uh -oh. Ooh. That was a multi charge. That one sort of blew up. Engines have an ejection charge. So maybe less speed. So do both engines have an ejection charge. Degree. So that one didn't go. Uh, that one did not go as planned, so we're going to do another double. This one's called the Wasp. As you can see, they're both hooked up there. Rocket number five, we expect it to go. Uh, about 700 feet. All right. 700 feet. Three, two, one. Ooh, really worked. Definitely better. Pop, 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 please, please. Oh, it worked. Oh my God, is that perfect? I think I it see, might be. I think I see. Okay, this one's we're calling a hornet. Another double. It's rocket number six for today. I wrote how high it's supposed to go somewhere. But I don't, oh, here it is. It's meant to go 582 feet, slightly heavier. Two Bs. Okay. 
<laughs> Three, two, one. That is how it's supposed to sort of go. Okay, this is a very tiny rocket and it's a test for a triple rocket mount, right? It has no recovery. Here's how it's wired. I don't know if you can see that. All right. This is uh, meant to go about 800 feet with three Bs. Three Bs, all right. Three. That one uh -oh. Uh -oh. failed. Stay away. There it goes. Oh, one more. I think only one end is too excited. I think so too. All right, we're moving up to the big D and E rockets. This, I believe, is a D. It doesn't Should say on the side of it. D12. All right. We expect about a thousand feet of lift from this D rocket. You might be asking yourself, well, if the bees don't go the same, if the three bees go the same height as a single D, is it cheaper to use three bees? No, it's not. It's just an experiment to see if we could do it. And we could. Now on to the D. About a thousand feet. And then you could just, you could just talk, you could just, my goal is to have the front to the best. All right. Three, two, one. Success! Oh, look at that magical marvelous. What's that thing? Absolutely oh, delightful. Yeah. The, the white thing underneath it is The motor. Oh, really? Oh, there it goes. Motor housing has been released. Unless that's a piston. So there goes another one. Could be the piston. Yeah, it's probably the Well, please don't hit it. Could be a fin. Come on. No, it's gone past. Right. Could be a nose code. Oh, well, part of it made it to the ground. Yeah. Hey, it was a good launch. All right, this is an E rocket. This one's a thick boy. It's just thick. It's meant to go about 1,500 feet, which is 500 taller than the last one. We'll see about that. It looks a little sticky on the on the slider. That's okay. It's really we launch much worse. Now these E's have a, have a tendency to explode. I think I have a bad batch of motor, so we should just stay extra far away. And um, Casper. Three, two, one. Deployed. It might come back. It's really far. That's so far away. Uh, a neighboring country just got. Oh, uh, I think that's Vaughn Woods. That was pretty good. This is a D. Expected to go about a thousand feet. There's Casper wiring up. What do you think about that last one, Max? Absolutely marvelous, with the exception of the trajectory. Yeah, but did get far away. We think it's somewhere around Vaughn Woods, ladies and gentlemen. If you happen to be out in Vaughn Woods, you might find a rocket. All right, D rocket, here we go. Go. Three, two, one. Really nice. Floppy, little floppy on the, on the medium, on the medium there. 
Uh-oh. There we go. Good launch. That one's good. Oh, a little wind. A little wind witch. Yeah. Ooh, she's looking. She's dancing in the She's really making a little... Might get this one back. Interpretive dance. Yes, I do believe. Inside the field. Money. Not inside the field. Oh, reachable. We had one land there. Reachable. All right. What did you say? Say that again, please. I consider that to be a successful launch, in my professional opinion. Do you think so? I concur. I, I can say don't try this at home. Only we explorers have access to this technology. <laughs> the peak of rocket engine. Actually, Casper, show the remote control still to the ladies and gentlemen. Like explode. That's the remote control that we we're using to launch the rockets. It's uh, basically something we could use to do a automatic garage door opener or something <laughs> like that. New. All right, this is the last rocket of the day the water bug it is an e rocket they do have a tendency to explode so we will be careful um we expect this one to go about 1400 feet hopefully the trajectory will be a little bit straighter than the one we lost in von woods okay casper three two one It's a face seeker! Oh my god. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh uh, F A I L E. <laughs> it's a full wreck. meltdown. Look at that. <sighs> well, here at Burkefield Dynamics, we believe that you can't shoot straight without learning uh, what doesn't shoot straight. Good avoiding the rock, the ballistic missile, everybody. Yes, we, uh, we learned that one in the early days. All right, this has been Doug Bergfeld for Ellie, Casper, and Max here at Haldale High School Rocket Lab. This, production this, <laughs> this technology is brought to you by Bergfeld Dynamics. Don't try this at home.